Hello? Who is that? The president wishes to see me. I'd been invited to visit with Franklin at his home in Hyde Park. Daisy, what a rad trick. His mother said he needed to take his mind off his work and the pressures of being the president. What do you say you and I get out of here? Go someplace quiet? That spring, Franklin showed me a world I never knew existed. Where's the police car going? Sometimes they have to catch a crook or something, I suppose. And soon, we became best friends. Mr. President, they just left Beacon. Good, it won't be too long. One of the things I, I love movies like this because it, it reminds me that we think we know who these people are, but deep down they have lives and, and, and personal issues that, that sometimes we fail to acknowledge and fail to remember. So I was wondering, what's the biggest difference between who, as an audience, who we think Bill Murray is versus who Bill Murray really is? Well, Bill Murray's, Murray's a, a monster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bill Murray's a monster and really should have been put to death, you know, uh, some time ago. Uh, I, you know, I think it's... I'm probably not any different than what people think you are mm -hmm. than what you really are. You know, you think you're, you know, they see you in action, they see you in motion, you know, they don't see you when you're, when you go into your own place and you're by yourself, you know, like the whole sort of the facade can drop and, you know, you can, you know, maybe you're a really sloppy guy at house, maybe you take your coat off and throw it over there and your tie goes over there and your shirt goes over there and you'll find him again like in a day or two, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, I can be like that, I, you know, when I sort of, you know, sort of getting the safety of my own house. I, you know, I think, what, what, where is my mind going to take me now? What am I going to do? What am I going to be drawn to? Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, when I work, I really have a real, I have an intention. I really am working pretty hard, and I'm much more, I'm a better person when I'm working. Mm -hmm. When I'm not working, it really, I'm, I really much feel the idle brain is is the devil's playground, and that, and that just the mice and the worms get in my head, and Absolutely. I do less and less the further I get from a day's work. You know. No. So nice of you to come, Mr. President. Forgive me for not getting up. So Franklin invited them here to the country where we could all relax. Your mother has now told me for the tenth time not to call her Royal Highness Elizabeth. Do you mind if I call you Elizabeth? No. No. It was just one of those At the things. picnic, the president's wife has organized just that hot dogs be served as our main dish. Are they trying to make fun of us? I don't know. Just one of those it's going to be a big, big success. Just one of those She's obviously his mistress. Look over there. The secretary. They'll see us. Wave. I am. The king seemed nervous. Without some help from us, there soon might not be an England to be king of. Good luck. We are not going to serve the king and queen of England in cocktails! Like a madhouse. Whenever you play a real life character that, that we all know versus sometimes you, the, the fictional characters you play, is there a difference in responsibility that you feel versus one versus the other? Yes, there's a very real chance you could run into the relatives of these people somewhere mm -hmm. along the line. You know, I've played a couple of real people. Right. Yeah. And it is a responsibility. Uh, you feel like you really have to work a little harder to get to their best side, you know, you almost have to be their friend in a way to say like, well, if this is, I, I have to be a friend of this person. I have to see, you know, to, to recognize their best qualities and, and sort of uh, celebrate them, you know. Have you ever ran into any of the, you were talking about running into the family members. Have you, have you had that experience before? Well, I played Hunter Thompson in a right. film and I run into his son and I run into his wife and I run into his ex-wife mm -hmm. and I run into his ex-girlfriend. I run into people that are, friends of theirs and and they all you know and how you play a person to, you know people remember it they remember it so it's uh, you know it's it's not a terrifying thing to run into them I I kind of worried I know I know uh, one person uh, you know sometimes you make a joke about someone in a movie and you go like oh I know those people but <laughs> you know so you have to sort of say oh by the way we made a joke about your grand your father-in-law mm -hmm. in the in a movie. Just to kind of ease the tension to say, a little bit. We made a joke, it wasn't my joke, but that was the joke. There Absolutely. You go. They didn't want me as their king. I didn't know they voted for that in England. <laughs> <laughs> if there's a war, America could be persuaded to help. I thought I might have a swim. Come along. I made them all agree no pictures in our bathing suits. <laughs> <laughs> we think they see all our. Flaws. But that's not what they're looking to find when they look to us. And one of my favorite films of all time is Rushmore, which of course was shot in Houston. Do you have fond memories of, uh, of being in Houston? Well, I think my fondest memory of Houston is uh, of the chicken fried steak. 
I, I really didn't know and appreciate the chicken fried steak back then, and I did. And there's, I think it's called the Route 59 Diner. Oh, of course, yeah. And there was another place called Wheezy's that had a very good uh, chicken fried steak. But I did a lot of driving trying to find the, f the best chicken fried steak. And uh, I, had a, I had a good time there. And I worked with Jason Schwartzman on, on Wes Anderson's film. I guess he's the most famous Houston director now. Absolutely. And you guys did a good job turning him out. I've, I've made five movies. I'm going to make a sixth one with him. And I had a good time there. And, and I had a good night of terror down there um, the night before we were going to start working. I thought, oh, my God, this is going to be terrible. It's going to be just a horrible movie. Mm -hmm. And I happened to be staying in a hotel that was having a bourbon tasting. And I tasted all the <laughs> bourbons because I thought it doesn't matter if I show up to work at night tomorrow because it's going to be terrible. But we ended up making a good movie after all. Absolutely. It's a great movie, yeah. great movie. Well, they're giving me the wrap. I could talk to you all day. If you ever come through Houston, have a very comfortable fold-out couch. Oh, so. man, you make it sound pretty sweet. Yeah. It absolutely honors it was. You too comfy back there? Yes, thank you. I now see how important this weekend was. To them, to us, to the world, to Hyde Park on Hudson. We could have sold tickets for this dinner and made ourselves a pile of money.